Let's bring in Joe Hildebrand and Liz Storer. Great Hello, to see both Joe. of you. Hello. Joe, so give us some more detail in this case. How can the government lose track of criminals and how dangerous are the criminals that are now <laughs> Well, this is the thing, isn't it? So, uh, that from what I can gather, and it is a very unclear, largely because the government refused to answer questions on this, and Immigration Minister Andrew Giles again refused to answer questions on this in Parliament, saying that it was an operational matter. They're so uh, doesn't, transparent. It doesn't look like it's operating <laughs> very so well, but anyway. They're so transparent. I love um, that they were elected on that, that That's That's right. The Teals will be very upset about this. But, um, <laughs> but there, there are a couple of things. One is this guy is just uncontactable and he's, he's just gone... Okay. AWOL. He's just mixing just his know. mobile phone calls. And we just don't know. Like, as, as he changes his <laughs> mobile Neil. phone number to private. <laughs> like, coming up again. What is going on there? The AAP have said that, um, that of the four... and. There's a five number being thrown around. The AFP have said that they think they are lower risk. But, yeah. again, you've got, even on the other end of the spectrum, you've got someone who killed the mother of his children, um, his wife. His daughters mm. are now living in fear in Sydney. Mm. Uh, and their stepfather is now saying, well, hang on a minute, you know, whether this guy has an ankle bracelet or not, he killed his wife. The ankle bracelet's probably not going to yeah, do that exactly. much. And he can't be deported either. So it's it's a real omni-shambles, um, which, of course, is a euphemism for a word I can't say on television. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the government's going to have to get on top of it. Liz, this is potentially the single biggest scandal for the Albanese government. And it very clearly shows that our national security... Um, you know, their ministers have been weak. You can't even argue with that. Oh, 100%. Claire O'Neill is so completely out of her depth. It's a new embarrassment absolutely every day how she chooses to deal with this or rather not deal with it. I must say, still blaming Dutton. Oh, this was the previous governments, etc. and so on. The problem is now you knew it was before the High Court for months. You made absolutely no plan A, B or C. Now we're being told that these detainees wearing bracelets, which again is thanks to Dutton. Like, the opposition has really become almost like the... the almost like a de facto, de facto government, government yeah. during the this time. The idea he was sitting there writing policy from the opposition leader's exactly. office. Exactly. Were those amendments not passed, God only knows what have got, would have gotten up that day, but thankfully they did rush something through. But now we're being told that certain detainees have refused. I'm sorry, how is that even possible? You are here in Australia. You are here, we're already being extremely gracious yeah. that you're still on our shores and you get to... Such a good Refuse? I mean, who? I mean, I didn't I, know criminals could <laughs> refuse to wear an ankle bracelet. Well, I, I, I don't think they but can. Joe, I think what the, if the rest of the 140 here that they've been, you know, a group of eight or four? It's unclear mm. the, the figures, but uh, you know, if the rest of the 140 here that oh, actually you can refuse to wear I, them. Yeah, it I, shouldn't again, be an option. it's a strange language. I don't think. No, I don't. I don't think that the, the AFP again are saying, or the relative relevant police forces, because I have to use state police. I think in some cases, but uh, the AFP are saying. Obviously, you can't refuse to do it. If it's if it's a, an order by them, you have to follow it. So and why it, aren't they wearing because, them? Well, they're going to make them, basically. But, again, this is the problem. We've got um, a government that, again, is but they not but they're revealing not wearing all it. the... They're not wearing it. And how long have they been out for? About two weeks they're, they're now. Not, that's exactly. right. So the, AF, the AFP obviously has to figure out a way how they can force them to wear it and make them wear it. So they haven't done it of their own accord. That really well. shouldn't be hard to figure out. Of course it should. And again, Claire O'Neill interview is... recently on some morning program and she was being asked, you know, well, how many of them are wearing it? How many of them are not? And she just kept saying they're being rolled out. Well, They're there was that other interview I mean, where so she said, unclear. oh, that's a question for Immigration Minister Andrew Giles, mm. a minister who is her junior counterpart, mm. Mm. and that was seen, you know, within Labor yep. as, as shafting her junior yeah, I believe that's called a hospital pass. And, <laughs> um, and again, Claire O'Neill is, is usually pretty sensible. She's been sensible on other things, but she's clearly been caught uh, wrong-footed, completely wrong-footed by this, and hopefully the government will learn from it. But, again, you know, if just one of these um, offenders or detainees ends up committing a crime or someone gets hurt as a result of them being in the community, mm. that will be, you know, that's almost an all-over Red Rover moment. So the government's yeah. got to be very, very careful. People but why would is that what it would take? 
I, I mean, I they think... should be acting like that they, is they should, a very real possibility be, that's right. any minute well, of that's, every single exactly. day, and, and, and they're not. And no, they've done everything. They've done everything sort of the wrong way round, which is firstly to say that they have no power to fix the problem, then to say that the problem's actually not that bad and these people are low risk or whatever, whatever. Then to say, oh well, we'll just have to wait and see what the high court says with its reasons, blah blah. And there's nothing we can yep. do right now. Something like this. The first <laughs> thing you have to make sure is that the government is more concerned, more angry, more outraged, and more determined to do it than the people in the community who are wanting it to act. And All that's right. what you're doing.